today i'm going to narrate a story name of the story stage fright author yamini vijayan illustrator somesh kumar publisher pratham books champa loves singing more than anything else in the whole wide world she sings in the bathroom and on the roof she sings to the hills and to the moon she sings like a lion and like a bee she sings through rain and through heat when champa sings she is filled with the most marvelous feeling in the world one day when champa sings basant's eyes light up i have an amazing idea he says basant is champa's best friend and he is always bursting with ideas some are terrific some are terrible you should sing on annual day says basant what a terrible idea says champa why not you love to sing champa hasn't told basant about the only time she got on stage and nearly fainted with fear i i can't sing in front of so many people i don't even sing in front of ma and pa you do sing around me all you need is a little practice champa should i yes 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 what if mahi and paras laugh at me if they do it just makes them silly and mean you are an amazing singer the very thought of singing in front of a crowd fills her stomach with butterflies champa is excited and terrified at the same time but she loves singing so much she decides to give it a try champa practices long and hard she rolls out of bed with a soft hum she sings while multiplying and dividing she makes her voice go up and down and down and up while the goats go out to graze she sings through her mouth she sings through her nose she even sings upside down everyone at home is excited about champa's big day they give her advice take long deep breaths when you sing give the audience your widest smile just be yourself throw a broken plate at the door and eat 12 grapes for luck the day before her performance champa holds a special rehearsal it is a roaring success finally it's annual day champa is wearing the sweater that her grandfather knit specially for the show when it's her turn to sing her tongue feels rubbery the stage is too big the lights are too bright there are too many people in the audience champa's throat tightens and her hands are clammy she remembers to smile before the audience when she begins to sing out comes a whisper it is as if someone has swallowed her voice champa champa takes a long and deep breath and tries again and out comes a squeak there is a loud gasp from the audience champa's heart pounds loudly her head starts to spin that's when she sees basant waving wildly at her she is so glad to see him so she tries again at first the song comes softly although her vo- voice is shaky it sounds somewhat right 
then slowly the music flows out of her smooth and strong and melodic it does not matter that the stage is too big or that the lights are too bright or even that the audience has a lot of people champa lets her go let her voice go wild and free and as she does she is filled with the most marvelous feeling in the world thank you i hope you enjoyed the story